everyone welcome and welcome you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's video i guess making a simple video on how to cut off shoulder wrap gown with slits off shoulder pencil gown with slits in front so like we're having combination of off shoulder we also have wrap and we also have our pencil gown with slits in front and i hope you find this video very educative and very informative don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe visit us on our facebook page studio designs and also on our website where you are going to find different and educative article on how to cut different styles all the details are going to be in the description box below so what are the basic measurements required our shoulder measurement bust measurement waist hip and our gown length our shoulder is 14 14 divided by 2 we have 7 our bust is 38 38 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 11 our waist is 32 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 10.5 our hip is 40 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 11.5 and our gown length is 39 plus 2 we have 41 inches so these are the basic measurements required when we want to achieve our off shoulder i'm going to show you guys how to calculate the measurements required for you to achieve your off shoulder and of course we are going to start first with our pattern drafting before we head into the fabric and with me here i have my pattern paper now one thing about this pattern paper is is about 60 inches long and it comes in a bundle so when you are dealing with topics that require long length you are going to have like your full length on this pattern paper and guess what this pattern paper is available at our store i'm going to put down the details in the description box below so let's move straight into the pattern our basic measurement now our weight shoulder to arm o nine and a half shoulder to arm o nine shoulder to bust nine and a half shoulder to under bust 13 and a half shoulder to waist 17 and a half waist to upper hip six inches waist to lower hip eight inches waist to our knee area we have 17 inches so i'll go ahead and connect the lines together wired now what we are going to do next is that we are going to go ahead and mark our dart measurement so firstly you have to like label your lines we have our arm o bust under bust waist upper hip lower hip knee length and our gown length so once you've labeled it it helps you to know where to place your accurate measurement so once you are done with that we'll go ahead and mark our dart measurement which is four inches on our waistline we we'll mark half inch on both sides on our waistline mark half inch on both sides we mark four inches all the way down so we'll go ahead and connect our lines together now the essence of this upper hip is to enable you know where your dart should end okay because your dart doesn't get to your hip region so you connect it to your upper hip and then you connect it you connect it this way so this is what you will have so once you are done with that we'll go ahead and mark our bust measurement because it's just a um this is the back block what our shoulder now is seven inches our bust is 10 our bust is 11 inches our waist is 10.5 our hip is 11 inches now you mark your hip measurements on you mark your hip measurements on your lower hip line 
now the essence of this knee length is to know how pencil you want your gown to be so for my hip i marked 11 inches i'm going to take away one and a half or two inches it depends on how pencil you want it to be at the lower part so i'll take away one and a half I will extend my nine and a half to my gown length. Once I'm done with that, I'll connect the lines together. Connect your hip. So I'll go ahead and connect this together. Now I'm going to go in with, I'll connect my shoulder line to my bust point, my bust line. Now, this is what we have. The next thing we are going to do is, we are going to determine how many inches we want to use for our neckline. So I'm going to make it of three inches. So because this is the back block, your deepness of your neckline should be more than one inch or one and a half at most. So I want it to be round shape. On my arm oak line, I'll mark half inch for my shoulder slope. So this is what we are going to have for the back block. Now, don't forget that it is off shoulder, not your regular shoulder. So once you have this, your regular shoulder, it's actually for beginners. It helps you to know how to get your off shoulder. So we have our regular shoulder. Now you're going to determine how many inches you want to take off for your off shoulder. So let's say I want to take about five and a half inches for my off. Five and a half inches. I will mark where I have five and half inches. So I'll go ahead and connect it with a straight line. So this is where I have five and a half inches. Now on this line, I'm going to mark my arm or my shoulder measurement, which is seven inches. So this is where we have our shoulder measurement. Let me zoom it in. Okay. So we've marked five and a half inches for our deep net that is how many inches we want to take off now on this line make sure you mark your shoulder measurement this is where we have seven inches which is our shoulder measurement so we are going to connect these seven inches to our bust line we'll connect these seven inches to our bust line it simply means that we are not going to make use of this regular arm o because it's off shoulder so we'll connect it this way using a slope so this is this becomes our new shoulder because it is off shoulder so i'll go ahead and cut this out after cutting it out this is what we are going to have now i'm going to go ahead and set this aside this block where we are going to have the wrap dress like the wrap shape we are going to go ahead and mark five inches first so I'll mark five inches. If you have any question, please don't forget to put it down in the in the comment section. So I'll go in with my pattern master and connect the lines. We've done that. We are going to go ahead and place our back block on it. You can also remark it, it depends. But we are going to have is only from our shoulder to waist measurement that is where we are going to have the wrap effect so we are not having any wrap effect from the waist to the gown length so i'll go ahead and open up this from our waist down to our gown length and this is where we want to have the wrap effect which is just the upper block so place this your this is our waist place your back block on your pattern paper this way on your pattern paper this way now i will go ahead and trace this out you can trace this out now you are going to go in with your pattern master and determine 
this is where our let me take away the back block so you can see that thin it out this is what we have just like what we have for the back block now we are going to go in with your pattern master and connect this this is where your shoulder starts from let me zoom it in okay this is where your shoulder starts from we are going to connect this your shoulder line to where you have your waistline this is our waistline so we go ahead and slant this so we've gone ahead to slant this from our shoulder line up to our waistline because this is where we want to have like the wrap effect and for this lower part we are going to have like the normal um pencil gown effect so we'll go ahead and cut this out so this is what we have for the front block this is our wrap and because it is off shoulder so we we'll set this aside and mark our that measurement which is four inches so i've marked that all the way down you connect it together this is your dart line now once you are done with that on your waistline you mark half inch on your waistline and then you connect it to your upper hip you connect it to your upper hip now you mark your waist measurement our waist measurement is 10.5 and our hip measurement is 11.5 on our knee length we took away one and a half inch we, so we are going to make it of nine and a half just like the way we did for the back block so we'll go ahead and connect it together so the difference let me cut this out so that i can show you guys what it looks like this is what we are going to have and we are going to have our wrap effect this is what we have for the front block now because it's going to have slit in front it simply means that we are going to open up our dart line because it's going to have slit in front so that's it basically so this is the front block how it looks like and this is what we have this is what we have for our back block this is what we have for our back block now the reason why i opened up this part is so that we can use it to get our so that we can use it to get our wrap effects for the front so you can go ahead and make yours one piece so this is what it looks like now for the front block because it's going to have form of that in front we are going to follow our that line and we'll go ahead and open it up I'm going to open it up totally we are going to end up having these three pieces for the front and for the back you can determine to have two pieces or you can leave it as one piece just mark this together so this is what we have basically for the pattern now at our store and you guys should also visit our website we have so many amazing beautiful african prints that are available so for the back block i have so i'm going to go ahead and cut this out so after cutting it out this is what we have for the back i'm going to tape this together so that i can have my full front I'm going to tape this together so that I can have my full front piece. So I'll go ahead and cut this out. Now I've cut this out. We've gone ahead to open it. So this is what we are going to have. You have like one piece this way. You have like one piece coming this way. And your second piece coming this way to give you like your full block so we are going to place this this way now and open up this part to serve as our dart paper So 
always make sure it's at the same point so you can just fold it into two notch it at allowance which is four inches so i'll go ahead and cut it out so i placed it correctly so i'll just go ahead and cut it out you can see what you are going to have now so that is it so we'll go ahead and set this aside it's our wrap of shoulder now for our wrap of shoulder we're going to have two pieces okay so we end up so i'll go ahead and cut this out this is what we are going to have by the time you open it up you can see our up shoulder wrap you can see our off shoulder wrap and so for the complete front block this is what we are going to have and i love the fact that the slits fell where we want to overlap so like you have it just coming this way so this is what we have for the front block my lining so if that is to place your fabric on your lining place your fabric on one and a half inches it means that your lining is going to be shorter with one and a half inches however it depends on the amount of allowance you added to it in the first place so i've gone ahead to fold it up and then i'll cut that our lining is shorter with one and a half so by the time you turn it up your your dress is going to be like this at the end of the day so set that aside the front block we are going to fix in our dart don't forget that we notched the middle before we took like before we slit it so this so from this is our midpoint here yeah? so from this midpoint we are going to mark four inches which is where our dart is going to be which is six inches to our upper hip the second part of our front block you are going to determine how many inches long you want for your slits how many inches long you want for your slits so we'll go ahead and stitch it up to where you want your slits to start from so see our slits in front i've arranged my wrap so we're going to go ahead and fixing our dart on the wrap but to know where to fix in your dart because your dart on the lower side must rhyme with your dart on the wrap the both darts must rhyme so this is where we have our dart you just mark it here and where we have our dart you mark it on the wrap so that you can have like equal dart line this way making sure that the two darts meet each other but it looks like you can see the sleeve now I've, i have a video on how to cut off shoulder sleeve so you can go ahead and watch that video part to the front one side of my sleeve i'll stitch it to the front second side to the second sleeve so if you want a video on how to fix the side zip just put it down in the comment section and i'm going to make a video on that so we'll go ahead and fixing our zip at the back so i'll zip i'll go ahead and use the measurements and stitch it all the way down and show you guys what it looks like